All right, now you get the best of Broadway. Tonight, a production that made its Broadway debut in 1927, breaking ground with a show that had never been seen before. In fact, it was so popular, it was revived on Broadway five times, including the current production. In his special report, Joel Siegel has more on Showboat. Joel? Greg, in 1927, a record 270 shows opened on Broadway. One made history. I want to say musicals come and musicals go. This one just keeps rolling along. But that's not giving credit where it's due. The original showboat and this new showboat that's just docked on Broadway for a long, long stay, unquestionably two of the best of Broadway. Old Man River, that old man river. A series of Broadway firsts, the songs were integrated into the story, written in character. The cast was integrated too. And the play was about something, the pain of prejudice, the triumph of family. The great Paul Robeson starred in the 1930 London production of Showboat. Evelyn Dixon was in the cast. When he first opened his mouth to sing for the audition of Indian uh, producers, everybody stopped voice to listen to his voice. It is so beautiful. Let me go away from the Mississippi. Showboat opened on Broadway in 1927. Rosalind Schlesinger was in the chorus. So we made a big $45 in those days. And that was considered fabulous. Songs by Jerome Kern, book and lyrics by Oscar Hammerstein, produced by the flamboyant Flo Ziegfeld. That's Flo. The critics didn't close Showboat. Wall Street did. The Wall Street market went down, and Mr. Ziegfeld lost all his money. That is why the show closed. William Hammerstein doesn't look old enough to remember the 1927 production, but he does. I remember when he wrote Can't Help Loving That Man. He... We were living out in Long Island, and my mother and I were driving him back from the city where he'd been working, and he was filled with a song he'd just finished it that day, and he sang it to us in the car. And my father had a terrible voice, but I remember how he delivered that song. And when I say it's a song of joy, that's what I'm remembering. It's gotta swim, birds gotta fly, I gotta love one man till I die. That's Helen Morgan in the 1936 film classic. The character Julie is a light-skinned black woman married to a white man. Morgan, a legendary torch singer, was white. Can come home. This is rare footage of Lena Horne's screen test for the 1951 film. MGM was afraid if they cast her in the role of Julie, the film would be banned throughout the South. Ava Gardner, in the light Egyptian makeup Max Factor had designed for Lena Horne, got the part. Lynette McKee, starring in the present Broadway production, is the first African-American to play Julie in a major American production. I didn't realize the significance of how important these issues were then and that they would touch on this in 1927. I thought they would run away from those issues rather than confront them and put them out there on stage. The word on Lynette McKee, the New Yorker wrote, when she sings Bill, you cry twice, once because the song is so moving, and again because this is her last number in the show, and you know you won't hear her again. Because he's just my Bill. Fifty years from now, they'll be talking about Lynette McKee's performance. This new show about one of those musicals where you walk in humming the score and walk out saying, wow, the score, the direction, the cast, the craft, costume, scenery, lighting combined to make this the best produced musical I have ever seen.